What's up everyone? What's work here and today Today we're uh reviewing another one of them them Stranger Things figures. Today we are reviewing The Demogorgon. It's from like wave one, I think. Stranger Things. It's an old one. Uh, Stranger Things Netflix original series, Damn Gordon. Some interesting art. I, I definitely prefer the one from season three. Picture of the Demi Gordon. Another picture of Damn Gordon, Stranger Things. She some more figures. You got your boy Dustin. Lucas, they're not in focus at all. The um, other figures coming soon: Barb, Mike, Will, Eleven, and Steve. A Steve? I've never heard of the Steve. It's disappointing because I would love to have gotten a Steve. Is this going to be um focusing today? Thank you. Image of Demogorgon. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Nothing on the bottom. So yeah, this shouldn't be a Demogorgon video, this should be the Commander Gree Black Series figure, except I hate the mail. See, I ordered it, and the mailman was like, I'm not going to deliver it, because it doesn't look safe. We go to the post office, where we have a very rough time with this lady, to get nothing. It's not here either. So now I have no clue where my $40 action figure that I bought was. $40! Spent $40 on that thing and I have no clue where it is. And I want my money back. I think it's already too late for that. Yeah, it comes with a base that says Stranger Things. Same as Hopper, except Hopper's was printed lower. That's how I remember. No, it's actually printed differently. This is the peg for Hopper, this is the peg for him. Anyway, yeah, just, just peg it into them Gorgon's foot, except it, it actually would make him harder to stand because he doesn't, can't fit both feet on the stand. But yeah, let's do some size comparisons. Here's the actual Demogorgon, and why is it so darn blurry. God, it is blurry as hell. The magic of wiping phone screen. Now it's not blurry. We might need to bring in the uh, Transformers movie to hold up the camera today. Here we go, Transformers. There we go. Size comparison. Here he is with Hopper. Bazinga. Go check that video out. By the way, after the Hopper video, a bunch of my videos started spiking. Specifically my childhood toy one, which I expected to get like five ten views at most it's at 20 now 23 and i wish i put more effort into it here he is next to the NECA predator so yeah and just to show the absolute size of this demogorgon here he is next to the hulk buster build a figure yes your eyes aren't deceiving you. This Demogorgon is bigger than the Hulkbuster build a figure. That's insane. That's kind of insane. Because this is huge. Here he's next to the Marvel Select Spider-Man. Scatter. Pick this boy back up. I'd pause it, but I don't really feel like it. 
See, it goes in scale with your Marvel Selects. And after that Marvel Select Iron Man that they released, man. I'm going to pick that one up just so I can have a Iron Man to go with my Stranger Things figures. My NECA figures. And hopefully my John Wick figure. Because I really want that figure from Diamond Select. But yeah, and also it can go with him. But yeah, this, 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 just let that sit in for a second. That's insane. Cause this, this guy is a, is a beefy boy. Go check out my review of him. Is one of, it's, you have to go pretty far back to be honest. Let's go click on my videos. Yeah, scroll all the way down. It's one of the first ones I did with this camera, I think. Yeah, he's a pretty beefy boy. So, now that we're done advertising other videos. Here he is, next to the Iron Man Mark 50. And yeah. Why am I doing Mark 50 instead of Mark 7? Because I have no clue where I put the Mark 7. But here he is, next to Lego Mrs. Puff. Get out of here, Miss Buff. Let's talk about the Demogorgon himself. Um, here's his face. His very, very ugly face. That is not one into focus at all. Come on. Arm's not going to be holding him up all day. Okay, let's see if we can get him in focus. There we go. He has, like, a lot of teeth in here. I mean, look at all that. That's saw teeth. There's even teeth in his gaping mouth hole, which doesn't look right, but, you know. And it's all nicely painted with some nice, like, shine to it to make it look all slobbery, like you just got some spit in there. Uh... They aren't articulated. When I first saw it, I thought they would be articulated, but I'm kind of glad because some of these joints, man, are loose. These probably fall down. They don't come with an alternative head, so he's just always stuck with a wide open face like, Oh my god, I'm gonna eat you! But yeah, here's the back of his head. And this is where you can see it first of his amazing paint job it looks like they had like a base of like the same kind of color that they gave that the uh, Funko Pop has god he's so hard to stand sometimes stand me boy Come on, you were doing it earlier. He has like the kind of same color as this. Except as for this one's just mostly that pink. They like covered it with like this nice um gray grayish white paint. It's just one problem. I don't know if this is accurate. I'd have to go back and check, but the Demogorgon in Season 1 looked really dirty and stuff. But if you go back to, like, the end of Season 3, spoiler alert, I guess, when you see him in the end credits scene, um, he's very, just, he's just completely, like, grayish white, and he's very, very slimy. So if they were to do this figure, I feel like they would just, like... Just keep him this, like, grayish white. And just give him, like, like a shine to him. It looks like he's wet. Because that's what he looked like. He looked wet. But it, that might just be from season three. I don't know. But, yeah. Got some nice sculpt work throughout the body itself. And, uh... I don't know why, but the back kind of looks like an old grandma. Got some weird butt cheeks. Some weird arms. 
These are very creepy hands. Got to say. Some pretty creepy hands. Got some nice, delicious looking legs. Then get his weird looking feet. It's pretty much it. Just some sculpt work of a weird, deformed creature. Bringing in my custom Demogorgon. Do not, I repeat, do not go back and watch the video on how to make a custom Demogorgon action figure. And if you do, don't watch part two. Because I got a new tablet when I did that. And I had no clue how to work it and it needed charged. So I just, um, I didn't even mean to make two parts. I just accidentally hit the uh, end video button. Except it was too far into the custom process. So I made a part two. And, um, the, vid the video flipped. It's also young me. Here's that, here's that custom, but with a better duct tape job. I just duct taped it to the head. Yeah. Looks like it's sun. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where's the baby Demogorgon. And just make some weird looking thing right there. Jump. Him in his teenage years. He just turned green. Mystery minis. So yeah, let's talk about articulation. He has a ball joint out the head. Look down that far, up that far, rotate, kind of pivot. Arms hinge out the, the a pathetic amount. And rotate, but very stiff. Loose as hell elbows. Very loose rotation. Hinge and a rotation. Diaphragm joint that's insanely tight. L another diaphragm joint at the waist is very loose. Loose legs go that far. He does the splits. Single jointed elbow with kind of loose. It's really loose if you don't bring it all the way up. Rotation. Really loose hinge and a rotation. So yeah. He's got a lot of loose joints, but I'd say it's good. Bought him on Amazon for $25. That's a pretty good price. He kind of can't really hold his arms up. But, you know, he, it's hard to do dynamic poses with him because his little feet are just loose. But he does look pretty good. So, bringing the box that I chucked behind me, I'd give the Stranger Things 12 and up. I believe McFarland? Yeah, McFarland. Demogorgon. An 8 out of 10. It's good. It's got a nice sculpt work, nice paint. Nice articulation. The only complaint is that it's very, very loose in some areas. But yeah, pick it up if you want to. Um, swear to God, I will just start paying people to go watch the Mar the uh, Black Series, not Marvel Legends, Black Series Captain Rex review because that thing's depressing as the other ones are kind of hidden it high so yeah check that one out please if you do I will shout you out I don't know how you know if go watch it comment in it and I'll give you a shout out I don't know what the hell that would do but I will cuz just someone watch it please my life has been rough man I just I lost a $40 action figure in the mail Hopper's hand is messed up. You know what? The new Marvel figures are coming out. Are being spotted in stores even though the release date said fall. That's why I bought Gree. That's why I bought Gree. Because I was like, I'll have a bit of money by fall to be able to buy them. Because like, I swear to God, it said the release date was fall. 2019 for the 80th 
year of Marvel figures. So I was like, eh, I'll probably have some money because my grandma will probably give me some money and I'll be able to buy the figures that I want. And then literally a couple days after I got Gree, they're like, oh, they're, they're showing up in stores now. And I'm like, are you serious? I spent $40 on an action figure that I don't real that I kind of want. Well, I spent $40 on this figure, even though there are other figures coming out that I would rather get. Is that an ant? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. My, I'm just done. Subscribe. Instagram's wet work. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep now. Please watch Rex. <laughs> and always remember, Demogorgon was the coolest monster. Demodogs suck. Mind Flayer, meh. I swear to God they called it the Thessal Hydra once. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I swear they called it a Thessal Hydra before. I don't know Dungeons and Dragons. I don't play that game. God, no more. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take my bottle of wine. I'm gonna drink myself to sleep. Goodbye.